Don't we're, playing, those hours. we're playing a special game, which has a special significance to me and to you, but you, you don't know it yet. <laughs> this is too loud. If it's that special, you should play with Special Boy. Okay, actually, uh, two of you are going to play this, not, not me. Okay. Come on, take controller one. I got two, though. Okay. Okay, and as you play this game, I'm going to tell you the story of a man named Gumpei Yokoi. <laughs> and his career his name's foreign and his career at nintendo but the trick is i'm gonna tell you the story backwards <laughs> you're gonna tarantino this yeah okay so end of this the story is end of the story gumpei yukoi is not working at nintendo anymore <laughs> he's working on the wonder swan which is a portable thing almost exactly like a game boy except it has a terrible name and a small library of games that are still pretty good hey. and he's driving around with his new boss at the wonder swan and his boss, like, there's a fender bender on someone else, and they get out of the car to look, and another car hits Gunpei and he dies. Nah, nah, nah. We need nunchucks. Alright. It's like Marcellus Wallace. Have an unchuck. What the fuck? Okay. It's a motion plus that I never knew this. Hang on. <laughs> Peripheral lever, that's the dildo. <laughs> that's the thrill okay. though. There's a video. Okay, so. <laughs> So that's how he died. He got hit by a car. Before Wait. that, Gunpei Yokoi left his job at Nintendo because basically he was pressured to do so because of the failure of the Virtual Boy. Just before that, he reworked the Game Boy into the Game Boy Lite, which was slightly better than the Game Boy. It had better battery efficiency and like a, a better looking screen. And he did that just because he didn't want the Virtual Boy to be the last thing he did for Nintendo. Before that, he was pressured to make the Virtual Boy by his uh, superiors because they wanted to make the PlayStation, like, not the best thing on the planet. And they thought they could just distract people with the Virtual Boy, basically. It was a bad idea. I mean, the Virtual Boy was not ready for market, but they just told him to make it anyway. Uh, before that, I think he made Super Metroid. And let's see, a while before that, he You're made... Holding the wrong way. Oh, like this? Yeah. Hold it straight up. Got it. Well, before that, he made the Game Boy. Gunpei Yokoi was the leader of the team who made the Game Boy. You're supposed to do something like multiple times so the game knows you did it. What's the last thing? Grab your you? meat. You press the button. <laughs> press the button to grab meat. Okay. There you go. Yep. This, this is a game all about meat grabbing. <laughs> <laughs> Not a very special episode of Freelance Astronaut. It should be a natural at this. <laughs> There you, you have to hold on to it though. Ah! Can't let go of your meat. Yeah. So, uh, before Gunpei Yokoi made the Game Boy, ah, uh, what do you do? Oh, he made, uh, he made a bunch of crap on the Nintendo. Like, he made the, the lights Kill up again. Kill meat! He made Rob, the robotic operating buddy, which is a horrible piece of crap, but it uh, made people buy the Nintendo. And more importantly, he made the store owners put the Nintendo on the shelves. Because the uh, the video game console market in, in America was dead. And they just wouldn't stock video game consoles. But they would stock Japanese robot toys. <laughs> was so we just kicked to perfection and suddenly grew inside. inside. Yeah. Just right. So with the Rob, they got Nintendo on the shelves. And then everyone bought the Nintendo and they found out it was awesome. And let's see, before that, Gunpei Yokoi invented the D-pad. You know the D-pad on every controller that ever? ever? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Gunpei Yokoi invented that. What did they have before a D-pad? They had the crappy joysticks like Atari style, where you had to like hold one, one hand on the base and grab it with the other hand and no. they had like a wrestle with it. Which was, you know, for women. Yeah. So, no, they actually made the D-pad for the Game & Watch things, which were like, uh, you know those Tiger LCD games? Yep. Well, Nintendo was totally way ahead of Tiger on Yeah, that. they pulled their clamshells. Yeah. yeah, I have one at, uh... I have the Donkey Kong ones. I still Probably have worth the Donkey Kong like ones. Eight thousand dollars. No, I, I checked eBay. It's worth like forty bucks. Oh, that's still more than I got you in. It's not bad. Oh no, my meat was not inflated enough. Wait, it's plump and tender. Stop burning your meats. You gotta grab them. There's em. so much meat. Reel them in. There's so much meat. That's what she said. As she looked on the phone. Oh, I should mention how I got this game. That's what I said in the YMCA locker room. This game is a exclusive Nintendo Club release. In order to get this game, you need to go to clubnintendo.com and uh, 
get club Nintendo points. And you do that by registering games and taking surveys and crap. So by providing them with spamming and marketing, you get this meat grabbing simulator? <laughs> Step yeah. off my meat. Actually, you get points from that, and you can use those points to buy various things, like posters and stuff. Some of it's cool, most of it's not. This is one of the cheapest things there is. You just need to basically register and then fill out a survey. And you'll have oh my god! Heart. And you'll have it's enough turkey. Then you'll have enough points to buy this amazing game right here. Oh, my meat was scorched. You should, you know, get a little more tender with it. I think you're gonna get negative scores at this rate. Oh, you can't go below zero. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, the colors! You, you shouldn't play with your meat until you're ready. Okay, and now I'm gonna tell you why this is relevant to Nintendo. So, one day, early on in Gunpei Yokoi's career, he went into his boss's office and he dropped the Ultra Hand on his boss's desk. And his boss was really happy. Because Nintendo was not even making toys or electronics at that time, they are just making playing cards. Hanafuda playing cards. And, uh, well, this new toy, they got into the market, and they started exploring with toys, and then later on they started exploring with electronics. And later they started exploring their sexuality. <laughs> it's all, basically all because of Gunpei Yokoi. And the day before Gunpei Yokoi dropped that thing on his boss's desk, his boss said, Hey, Gunpei, we're thinking about making a toy. I want a new toy as fast as you can give it to me. All right? Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Because Gump basically Gumpei Yokoi worked in Nintendo just to maintain the machines. And he got a job there because it was close to where he lived and like took commute. And everyone knew that he was sort of a, like an inventor or tinkerer kind of guy. He was always inventing stuff. So all of Nintendo exists because of this one dude who died yeah. at our Basically time. everything that uh, Shigeru Miyamoto did for software with the games and Mario and Zelda and everything. Gunpei Yokoi was all on the hardware side. Wait, he invented the Ultra Hand? He invented the Ultra Hand. Like, it, that's where it came from? Yeah, he like invented boxing it. boxing glove fist in cartoons? Uh, I don't know where he got the idea at first. No, I mean, like, that's where it stems from? I don't think it stems in, like, in that way. I don't what know. year was this Ultra Hand Ultra <laughs> Fight? Way, way back in the 70s. So. Thousands of years ago. In terms of videos. So, is this kind of like a slap in the face to his legacy, or like a silent nod? Yeah, that's how it looks to me, because this game is just terrible. <laughs> and I saw a trailer for this game on April 2nd. <laughs> so I, I watched the trailer and I got all pissed off. I'm like, oh wait, oh, Nintendo. This trailer is probably meant to be posted on April 1st. You got me! <laughs> and then I thought, wait, maybe I better check this out, and it turns out to be real. Nice one, Nintendo. Well, well okay, stop playing this game. <laughs>